The Layer 1 scene has always been dynamic with new projects popping up, striving to achieve what their predecessors are struggling to. Among them are the recently launched Sui and Aptos. Though the reception for these two projects recently has been mixed to say the least, they have and continue to receive some buzz due to their prominent VC backing, new non-EVM tech, and association with Meta's now shelved crypto project Diem. Now sit back as we compare these two projects side by side, starting with their founding teams. Sui and Aptos both have teams composed of former Meta employees. After Meta shelved its blockchain project, Avery Ching, a former tech lead at Facebook, and Mohammed Sheikh, former strategic partnerships lead for Facebook's wallet Novi, left the company in 2021 to create Aptos Labs. The following year, Aptos raised a total of $350 million in funding over three rounds led by Andreessen Horowitz, Jump Crypto, Binance Labs and FTX Ventures. Sui, on the other hand, was created by Mistin Labs, a software company also launched in 2021 by former Meta employees. The core members all played a key role in Meta's crypto unit, including CEO Evan Cheng, previously director of R&D at Novi Financial, CPO Adeni Abiodin, previously the product lead at Novi, CTO Sam Blackshear, and ex-principal engineer at Novi, Chief Scientist George Denises, the ex-Chief Scientist at Novi, and Costas Chalkias, Chief Cryptographer at Mistin Labs and ex-Chief Cryptographer at Meta. After the team founded Mistin Labs, they raised a total of $336 million in funding over three rounds, led by FTX Ventures and Andreessen Horowitz. Clearly, both projects are backed by prominent VCs and have solid teams behind them. Under the hood, at the center of both projects is a program language known as Move. Move is a Rust-based programming language that was originally created by one of Sui's core members, Sam Blackshear, to power Facebook's DM blockchain. Move supposedly addresses the vulnerabilities found in popular EVM programming language Solidity by making it harder for developers to write buggy code or encounter unexpected behaviors in their smart contracts. Aptos uses the original Move language, but otherwise employs the same address centric architecture as with many other blockchains, meaning that most of the transactions on the blockchain involve modifying or managing data tied to specific addresses. So for instance, a transfer of an asset requires updating the ownership record of addresses of both the sender and recipient. Sweet, however, uses a modified version of Move, which introduces an object-centric model that deviates from the address-centric approach. Sweet's object-centric storage system means that it represents different elements on the blockchain, like tokens or even smart contracts as objects. So when a transfer or any other operation involving the object occurs, the relevant functions only need to update the object's internal properties to reflect the changes in ownership, which can be more efficient. For a deeper breakdown of how Sui's object-centric model works, be sure to catch our video introducing the project after you're done with this one. Both projects are also trying to tackle scalability issues through parallel execution of transactions, though they both execute this in different ways. In Aptos, parallel execution is implemented using a technique called Block SDM, which stands for Block-Based Software Transactional Memory, and generally involves the optimistic execution of batches of transactions, meaning that they assume there are no issues with concurrent transactions and execute them all in parallel to allow for higher throughput. Though when conflicts are detected, the affected transactions are re-executed and re-validated, and finally the agreed-upon set and ordering of transactions is reflected in the final blockchain state. Sui, on the other hand, uses a DAG or directed acyclic graph based mempool to facilitate parallel transactions and does not require all transactions to be ordered sequentially. So, for instance, for simple independent transactions like sending an NFT, which would only affect a single owner, Sui uses parallel execution, which can even bypass consensus for faster processing. Consensus is only needed for more complex transactions with dependencies that affect objects owned by multiple addresses, like swapping tokens from shared liquidity pools and DeFi protocols. As a result of their respective architectures, 
Aptos claims to be capable of handling over 160k TPS, while Sui claims up to 300k TPS. However, these remain to be proven with Aptos registering a peak TPS of just over 1200 in the last 30 days, and Sui a peak of 1007 TPS over the same period. Let's now look at some ecosystem metrics, starting with the total value locked. Aptos, which was launched seven months prior to Sui, has about 44 million in TVL compared to Sui's 12 million, both being rather low compared to leading chains. As for the number of projects on each ecosystem, Move Market Cap lists over 150 projects on Aptos and about 80 on Sui, spanning infrastructure, DeFi, NFTs, and more. However, low activity count and TVL still indicate that there is low usage of these chains. What about their tokenomics. The total supply of Sui's native asset, Sui, is capped at 10 billion, with 50% of these tokens allocated to the community, 20% to early contributors, 14% to investors, 10% to Mist and Labs Treasury, and the remaining 6% community access program and app testers. Sui released only about 5% of its total supply at mainnet launch, and the rest will follow a release schedule that extends till 2030, though a massive unlock will happen later this year in November and May next year. Aptos, on the other hand, had an initial total supply of 1 billion APT tokens at mainnet launch. APT does not have a maximum cap as staking rewards will increase the total supply of the token as time goes by. That said, 51% of the initial supply was allocated to the community, 70% to the Aptos Foundation, 19% to core contributors, and the remaining 13% to investors. Both projects have faced significant backlash over over its subpar tokenomics, with Sui only having a low amount of tokens circulating and massive unlocks scheduled, and Aptos due to the fact that half of the token supply is allocated to investors. While these tokens are subject to four-year lock-up schedules, the majority are being staked, and staking rewards earned from them are not locked. You can learn more about the tokenomics of Sui, Aptos, and many other projects on our website. Before we end the video, it's worth mentioning that there are other heirs of Diem, such as Line Nira, which is still in its early stages of development. Similar to Aptos and Sui, Linera is founded by an ex-Meta employee and is backed by top VCs. The project completed a 6 million seed round in June 2022, led by Andreessen Horowitz with the participation of Signy Capital, Kima Ventures, and Tribe Capital. Well, what do you think? Will Aptos and Sui deliver on their lofty ambitions and give the incumbents a run for their money, or will it be the other Meta spin-offs that take the throne? Well, let us know in the comments below. If you're interested in diving deeper into either Aptos or Sui, we've got a bunch of videos on them on our channel, so make sure to check out those as well.